King Spryo, good friend of the program, hit me up and said, hey, how strong of an impact do you think that new college football video game will have on this season and in the future? Very big. Very big. First off, hat tip to EA Sports. They have brilliantly marketed this release. Great job. They had, I think, every major program in unison this morning tweet out promotion and saying, we're in the game. And several players today, I saw Travis Hunter, Quinn Ewers, several players confirming we're in the game. And then simultaneous to that, like Reese Davis, Kirk Herbstreit, a lot of the broadcasters tweeting, we're in the game. That stuff doesn't happen by accident. I know you guys sit out there and you think to yourselves, well, duh, I mean, that's common sense. Yeah, uh, it's, it, it is in precious it's, an, it's, an, it's a precious commodity. Let me just say it that way. It's a precious commodity. When you have synergy and you have alignment in releasing anything, it's, it's a lot harder than it looks. Let me just put it that way, immunity. So I think it's going to have a very big impact. It is hard to believe for people who don't play video games, me included, I don't ever play them. It's hard to believe for people who don't play video games or especially are more seasoned portions of the audience. It may be hard for you to believe this, but it's true. There is a vast swath of the younger generation who comes in the front door of a sport by first playing the video game. Soccer is majorly like this. I've got many of my personal friends who either still don't watch soccer or only started watching soccer because they played the FIFA game. Like, that's not me. I've never done that, but I know a lot of people do that. you got an entire generation that has not had this video game for a decade, and they're about to have it again. So, I mean, I know a lot of your lapsed gamers, and you'll jump back in at age 34, and your kids won't see you for a month, and your life will fall completely off the rails, but it'll be worth it because you won a national championship with Maryland. But there are also 12-year-olds out there who have never played this game in their lives, and all of a sudden, they're about to fire it up and say, wow, this is pretty incredible. What's this game? College football? That's the one where the guys I watch on the NFL draft, that's where they come from, right? Maybe I'll give it a try. And then all of a sudden, boom, Ohio State and Michigan. They're glued to it. Here's what I want to avoid. I went to producer Jesse for guidance on this. Here's what I think we have to avoid. We have to avoid a couple of things. One is inevitable. One's unavoidable. This is going to lead to a massive uptick in questioning play calling. You know it's coming. I know it's coming. People never stopped questioning play calling, but for a little while when we didn't have this game and you didn't have folks thinking they're calling a game multiple times per day, I haven't noticed as much questioning of play calling over the last several years. But I will promise you, friends, once a dude runs halfback direct 15 times and beats Michigan with it in a video game, he will begin to question why Rutgers is not doing it in real life. Like, Shiano's an idiot. Run HB direct. Like, I saw Will Stein talking about it at Oregon earlier today. I used to run halfback direct. I played the 05 game with Reggie on the cover. I ran a halfback direct offense. Drove my friends up the wall. They tried to outlaw it. It's like playing with Vic on the early editions of Madden. I said, you shouldn't be allowed to run halfback direct because I can't defend it. Sounds like a you problem. Not a me problem. And so... There will be mass questioning of play calling from people who think playing a video game is tantamount to calling plays in real life. It's the same folks who think they'd be good in combat because they play Call of Duty. Same crew, same group. Uh, secondly, here's what I talked to Jesse about. We got to avoid what I call the Fox BCS disaster. And that is where Fox once upon a time got the rights to the BCS for a few years, but they didn't change the NFL themes they just plugged college football names and graphics into their NFL theme. So they kept the same scoreboard. They kept the same music. And you were watching like Oklahoma versus Florida. And you might as well be watching Chiefs Bucks. And it was stupid. It, it didn't feel authentically college football. Well, a lot of folks are worried about that with this college football game. How's the game play? Are you using the Madden engine? I'm talking about stuff I know nothing about right now. But don't worry because Jesse has equipped me with this knowledge. And uh, rumor on the street, rumor on the gaming streets is... There's a lot of concern. Is it going to be authentically college football? And an anxious gaming world awaits. And I await you guys to tell me because I probably won't be there at the sticks with you. Having said that, when it comes time to create a team, anyone who's not playing with Pate State is no friend of this program. So, yes, 
We have got a big summer ahead of us, and productivity will grind to a halt when this thing comes out, and I'm all for it because at least you're focused on the greatest game in the world one way or the other. 